fixing the nation's infrastructure. We can all get behind that, can't we? It's roads and bridges, right? When you say infrastructure, that's what you mean. Roads and bridges, right? I didn't think there would be much agreement in the infrastructure summit, but lo and behold, Speaker Pelosi and Senator Schumer emerged to say they did reach agreement. Yes, they have agreed to spend $2 trillion. Of course, we all know what we all want to know where that money is going to come from. No answer on that one yet. I also want to know exactly what we're going to get, what we're going to spend $2 trillion on. You think it's just roads and bridges? That's how infrastructure spending has always been sold? Well, dream on, folks. After the White House meeting, the Democrats declared that infrastructure was much, much more than just roads and bridges. Quote, it's about advancing public health with clean air and clean water and, quote, addressing climate change. And get this, it's also about expanding broadband to rural, urban and other underserved areas. Really? That's not roads and bridges. And if we do tackle infrastructure, the spending must, quote, involve women, veteran and minority-owned businesses in construction and the work must pay the prevailing wage, end quote. This is a Democrat grab bag of social policy goals attached to infrastructure. Reminds me of Obama's stimulus plan. He turned over $865 billion to Congress and let them spend it. Didn't end well. Now it's $2 trillion. This is what gives government spending a bad name. It's not focused on specific problems like roads and bridges, no. It's same old, same old. Politicians bringing home the bacon, buying votes, satisfying favoured groups. As for the president, well, he's a business guy. He understands cost and efficiency and getting things done. Hopefully, he won't go for new taxes to pay for it all. Hopefully, he won't load climate change, health care and broadband on top of fixing roads and bridges. My opinion? If an infrastructure deal means giving a $2 trillion check to Congress, I'd rather have no deal, no agreement. There really is something to be said for gridlock.